Good morning, this is Candice Murray from Glass Online at Glass Tech in Dusseldorf. This morning we're with Fred Acker from Zorg, who's going to tell us something about the company. Okay, Zorg, as I hope you can see, is a group of companies, one of them being Niklaus Zorg, that's doing engineering and selling equipment. Another company is Amy, that handles everything around raw materials and batch. And then we have the service company, SKS. Zorg was founded in 1872, and we handle everything from raw material delivery up through the glass, going through the orifice to the IS machines. And how has the last two years been for your company? It's been extremely busy. If, um, if you're not busy and in glass, you're probably in the wrong branch right now. And what have you brought to Glass Tech this year? Oh, we brought a lot with us this year. This first piece of equipment you can probably see from here, this is a new charger, can handle up to 500 tons of batch per day. It's got redundant vibrating chutes so that you can, um, you can change some of the parts on the fly. Um, our motto is value by design, at least in the furnace engineering company. And we've brought a lot of things that are leveraging customers' data for one thing, we have a virtual reality set up. All the visitors can um, put on a headset and walk around our furnace, walk around our four hearths. They can jump into the furnace if they want to. This is a furnace that we're currently building. The company that did this for us is called Borton Lawson, and they took our data that we produced anyways for this customer, for this project, put it into a virtual reality world, with virtually no work whatsoever, and with it, you can explore the equipment. Um, we've got a laser scanning demonstration here. It's more and more important to capture the customer's existing data. You might have a batch house that's 40 years old, that's been modified over the years. Nobody maintains the as-built drawings. Um, we have a 3D model of our 340S Plus 4 horse. This is a new generation of 4 horse for us. And we took the existing 3D data and we sent it to a 3D printer and printed it, all the parts individually. With this, somebody can take it apart like a puzzle, a new hire can learn the features of it, see how it's built. So it's all about leveraging customers' data. And what are the prospects for the future? Based on the number of visitors we've had, very good. There's still a lot of activity in glass, a lot of interest, and I think what we're doing is extremely relevant. 